Greetings, Twin Flame lover. Hi, it's Dr. Amanda Noel, the Twin Flame matchmaker, with a special Twin Flame energy report and intuitive reading on the new moon in Scorpio, which is happening on November 18th, 2017, and it falls at 26 degrees Scorpio decan 3. Remember that our thoughts create things. So stay positive while watching this video, even if any of the messages feel a little uncomfortable or new. I'm going to talk about some powerful ways to transform any negative energy from the darkness of the Scorpio new moon. So stay tuned. Hold me close till I get up. Time is barely on our side. The new moon with its November aspect Quinsunct Uranus offers us twin flames, light workers, and freedom fighters. You know, any of us who are woo woo weirdos with rebel hearts, the right moment to voice our truth. At this time of the year, the sun is falling into the underworld before its resurrection at the winter solstice, unless we're in Australia or down under somewhere. But the energies at this time can feel a little awkward and uncomfortable due to this falling time of the year. Perhaps you remember the myth of Persephone, the daughter of Demeter, where Persephone is abducted into the bowels of hell with that creepy guy Hades, the lord of the underworld, who reminds us a bit of Harvey Weinstein, the guy who wants to do things against the will of the sweetness, the innocence of the divine daughter of true nature. This new moon in Scorpio is almost exactly opposite the planet Sedna, that minor planet that was only discovered in 2003. In fact, most astrologers don't know a whole lot about her, but deem her a reflection of Sedna, the Arctic goddess of the sea. Apparently, her orbital history of this planet makes it almost certain that she's associated with climate change and the rising sea levels. Sedna was the Arctic goddess of the sea who gets tricked into marrying an evil bird spirit who causes her to drown and lose her finger at the bottom of the sea when her father can't save her. So we're at this theme in this moment. The divine daughter is rising and the trauma of the old patriarchy is clearing out on the collective level. So twin flame energies can align. This November Scorpio new moon falls into the constellation of the wounded healer Chiron upon a fixed star called Aegina. Many of us lightworkers are awakening at this time in conjunction with the conversations with the hashtag me too movement which fits in perfect timing with what's happening with Chiron, the wounded healer medicine of this moon. We're looking at clearing up a lot of debris held in the collective around the rape of the divine daughter that has been done over eons of time and has been expressed through that Darth Vader-like Illuminati energy. Chiron's energy is going to personally and collectively reopen our childhood wounds, what I call the sacred wound. It's time to lance and clear up those old traumas. There are two pieces that need to happen for our healing at this time as we step into Chiron. One is to be open to doing the clearing work and taking responsibility as adults and not remaining victims as if we're still stuck little two-year-olds or seven-year-olds. And two is to set healthy boundaries as we heal the wounds. Now I want to talk more about the impact of the fixed star Aegina, which is 24 degrees Scorpio and the 10th brightest star in the sky. Aegina promotes social bonds, success, health, status, honor, and a bit of the quality of regality. So if we've been settling for less and playing small, maybe in relationships, staying humble because of that past life poverty vow or not feeling good enough as children, it's time to tap into our divine abundance. The refinement of Aegina allows us to ask, is this pattern serving me or am I just getting stuck? Aegina during this Scorpio new moon will allow us to ask ourselves to look at the game that we're playing, to cancel out any playing small energies, and we can decide to take action accordingly. To be honest, from what I've been reading and researching about the energy of the new moon over the last couple of weeks is that the intensity is going to be up this month. Without the healing properties of the star Aegina, we'd pretty much be up sh creek. 
because this decan alone brings in a drunkenness, a fornication, wrath, violence, and strife, according to Agrippa. At this time, as lightworkers, it's our time to fight back with light magic. In fact, the most powerful magic we lightworkers and holders of the flame can use is the exact same magic that the Illuminati uses, but in our way of doing it with love and for good. We're meant to use our own serpentine energy at this time. We're meant to alchemize our old wounds and turn them into power using Chiron's wounded healer medicine. Ultimately, this new moon offers us a chance to step up and illuminate our shadow and the shadow of the collective pain. In our shadows lies the most feminine aspect of our soul. The shadow, though considered negative, actually holds some of the most powerful gifts and opportunities for making a difference in the world. If we don't address our shadows, we're only going to attract twin flame counterfeits, twin flame runners, chasers, and karmic soulmates. Most women procrastinate on dealing with their pain. So do men. And I so get this. And that's why during this new moon in Scorpio global online ceremony, I'm going to teach you some of my best twin flame alchemy secrets to help you women transform your biggest pain from your pain body into divine pleasure. Pain can include physical pain, emotional pain, psychic pain, ancestral and collective symptoms of any combination of these types of pains. Pain in our soul shows up on the individual level. For example, say we have pain in our wombs from a toxic past sexual experience or old lover this life or another lifetime. Yet pain also shows up on the collective level. The pain in a woman's womb, for instance, can reflect itself in the pollution pain literally as plastic trash floating in the ocean. The body and soul of Gaia reflects your body and soul through the hologram. Thus, we healers must heal thyself, the collective and the planet, the new moon in Scorpio offers a particular ease and opportunity for healing the shadow and those hard to reach places. The new moon is always a powerful time to go within, to enter the darkness of the feminine, to listen and to integrate, and then to rebirth our desired intentions. That's why we come together each month to set our sacred intentions, tune into the miracles of the lunar frequencies in sisterhood, and manifest. Yet this new moon in Scorpio provides us a special opportunity to ease past fears and pain via a trine to Chiron retrograde in Pisces. Scorpio's radical honesty and courage can help us confront our shadow self. So you'll be able to dive into the pain, perhaps deeper than ever before, to come out stronger. Saturn trine Uranus means you will cope very well with pain or intensity in a more calm and patient way. Chiron is the wounded healer who takes responsibility for his pain. This month is an opportune time to look at our deepest pain so we can move through it. I'll be sharing how to do this during my talk on Saturday through what I call the Twin Flame Mirror Tool. This is a power tool that will radically shift your life, your relationships, and help you create a new mode of operating so you can live from the light. As an enlightened version of Chiron, you will be able to navigate through tough spots and even heartbreak with flying colors, and that's why this Saturday's talk will illuminate how to turn your pain into a source of power and pleasure. Are you ready to heal and make your biggest shifts yet? How will this impact your twin flame union, your health, your wealth, the world around you, the next generation of children, the animals, and all life? Many people hold on to the unnecessary past pain that is not even theirs. The pain is an illusion. We can hold on to unknown blind spots that stop us from manifesting what is our soul's birthright because we haven't cleared out our shadows yet. The good news is that by using the power of this month's new moon in Scorpio, along with the positive energy 
of your willpower as well as soul sisters coming together with this life-changing twin flame mirroring tool you will more quickly than ever be able to slash through old pain and alchemically transform it into pleasure the healing process always starts within but it's hard to do it alone and it's more fun to do it in tribe that's why I'm hosting this upcoming new moon in Scorpio ceremony on Saturday at 7 p.m. Central Standard Time. And I encourage you to start thinking about where you're in pain, where you have been avoiding some pain, and to gather up with your sisters and attend and create a ceremony. We're going to initiate into our own shadows. You'll be able to tap into a new level of power as you unblock ancient pains. So register now using the link below and I'll be sending the complimentary raw cacao elixir recipe along with some other freebies to help you prepare for this new moon in Scorpio because they want you to have the best one yet. It's our time to step up as high priestesses and priests and artists who create from love. Those who have eyes to see and ears to hear. It might be difficult to swallow the truth at first. We're afraid to realize that we're truly an abundant planet and species and that there's infinite love. Those impacted by the new moon in Scorpio may feel separate from those who are willing to stay repressed and blind to what's truly going on in the world, in our own lives. So as we open our eyes to the truth during this new moon, if we want to, we can create whatever we want. So I thank you for doing whatever it takes to heal because this is your biggest gift, your biggest legacy that you will leave on this planet. So thank you for watching today. Like, subscribe, and make sure you click on the link below in the description box so that you as a priestess can register for the new moon. And men, we will have something coming soon. Hopefully my beloved Jack will be holding space for a full moon ceremony for the men, but this is a sacred temple for priestesses at this time. So thank you for joining me. Happy new moon in Scorpio, everyone. And I look forward to seeing you on Saturday at the upcoming new moon. Namaste. Uh -huh.